hello hello i've come along today to um take up corey's challenge which is hashtag jj mass makes i will add the hashtag throughout the video um so corey has said uh let's do some videos let's get some making done and let's share our mass make ideas and they don't have to be something that are new they don't have to be something that are complicated just something we can mass make for our junk journals and and i am actually going to use this as the challenge for march in our facebook group i literally watched corey's video really early this morning and got straight on to making some mass makes now, I actually started by um, cutting down two sheets of paper. Um, I cut some into four inch strips and another one into three inch strips. And um, then I came up with my kind of mass make idea and realised that it probably wasn't the best way to cut my paper. So I'm going to show you my mass makes first and obviously i've only been doing it i only did a couple of hours so i haven't mass mass maked i haven't made millions but i have made these little corner flip pockets that can be glued in to your journals based on the rita donnelly corner flip so rita donnelly came up with this many many moons ago um, and loads and loads and loads of us do it um, i just thought i would do my mass make with maybe a few ideas they've probably been done before because like i said so many people have used these but i was so excited i just had to get going so um this one has a little flip up here it's a little sewn pocket but there's also a little tiny tuck pocket there and i've got a clip on there at the moment but that might change when i use it <clears throat> i have this one which has a little pocket here and it's a little pocket there and it's got a pretty little bit here which you could also use as a flip if this is at the top of a page so that's kind of another one um this one again is a flip so this one does flip up and i might add some journaling room here i might add a little journaling card um and there's the pocket there this one has a pocket here and a pocket at the side here. There's a little tag in there. So there's two little pockets on that one. This one, let me think, this is a top one, um, but we've got a little top pocket here and a little side pocket there. So there's two little pockets again. This one, I've used a paper clip to hold that down. It's a flip up and a pocket. Obviously they all are flip ups and pockets mostly. Some of the flip ups I have, um, glued down to make that pocket um, this one is just very very plain and I've used the, the paper clips which you can mass make um, and in here we've got a little piece of journaling space this one was a little bit different so what I did was I actually folded both ends of this one so it would go over the top of a journaling page again this was kind of inspired by Corey and her over the top page and there is a little corner pocket or there's a little tuck spot pocket in either one of those and that could either be clipped on or you could glue it along here in your journal page and that would also give you a, a, a little tuck pocket there so that's another one then they were all the four inch strips out of the three inch strips I made some little mini ones and I've used some of my little random random ramblings on there there's a little little pocket here and a little flip so that's the small one and then this one I've done this one a little bit differently so I've got a little flip here which is held with just a plain old paper clip at the moment but that could be decorated with something much more fancy and this time I've just got it's kind of like a little belly band tuck spot so when that's glued in your journal you've got a little kind of tuck spot for something a bit longer and all I did to do this one is I just put a couple of little stitches there to hold that corner in place you could use glue none of these have to be sewn 
Um, but this is what I'm going to be doing for my mass makes. And I'm actually using previous mass makes to make these um, little corner flips. So let's get our paper cut first. So um, I don't need to unfold my, my trimmer. It's perfectly okay like this. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, my four inch ones. Yeah. Before I do that, I want to cut off a four inch strip. So this piece can now go aside and be used for something else because that's not going to be used for this make. So I've now got an eight inch by 12 inch piece. I'm going to turn it on its side and cut this into four inch strips. So we'll get three out of one 12 by 12, but we'll also have, we've got a four by 12 spare, which we could use for all sorts of things. So this one I'm going to do a little bit differently. This one I'm going to cut into three inch strips. and cut them into six inches. So if you're making the larger um, pocket, you'll get three plus your spare strip. If you're making the smaller ones, you'll get eight. You'll get eight of those little corner pockets out of one sheet. So what I'm gonna do is grab my scoreboard and this paper, I find if you score it too hard, it does actually rip the paper. So I'm just going to give it a little score at four inches. And then, it, depending on what you want to do, just fold that in half. I'm actually going to have a bit of a variety. So some with the pattern on the outside, some with the pattern on the inside but just put a little crease in there and fold those in half. So we've now got these pieces at four, um, four inch squares. Now, all you need to do is decide which side you want your pocket, how you want it to look. Um, I'm gonna go this way on this one. So I'm just gonna fold down that edge. Now on some of these, they might not be perfect. You might not get a perfect line. That's okay. Once they're decorated, you won't really notice that. Yeah, I'm going to fold this as an up, upward folder. Oh, this one's going to go up. <laughs> so this is going to be a top pocket. And this one, I'm going to, I'm going to fold it back the other way. Which way does that go? So this one, I'm going to do this way. Just so there's a bit of variety in the orientation of the pockets. Okay, so we've got two, three there. So let's put those aside for a moment. Put those under a little drawer. And then we'll move on to these ones. And it's easy to do all your folds at the same time. And of course, this is six inches, so we want to fold at three. Now we have all of these folded. So now we need to fold our little flaps. Huge amount now, a couple of top ones and some bottom ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with making some of the larger ones first. Now, one of my previous mass makes is I made some little folios and they were printed. And when I had my, um, I ended up with lots of tiny little strips and I mass made, I mean, these are months and months old. I mass made these little kind of clusters with all of the strips and I didn't ink them. I just, so I just used all of my little off cuts to make these clusters. And I've got another bin full over there um, and, and loads of these, but I just thought these were great to decorate these. The other thing I have is some of my 
random rambles and quirky quotes. I've got a load of those to the side. And I've also got all of my fussy cuts. These are just the things that I've pulled out I'm going to use to decorate, okay, to keep this simple. I've also got some labels, obviously, because I always have my labels to hand. So the first thing I'm going to do is just give it a quick ink. Um, and I haven't inked too much on these. I've just given them a little rough going over, really, like that. That's perfectly fine for me. Um, and now I'm going to have a little look at what I can use. So I'm just going to kind of audition a couple of people, a couple of things to see how they look. And um, that's quite big. That one works quite well. I quite like that. So I'm going to give this an ink because, like I said, when I made these, I didn't ink them. And I'm going to put that there. But I'm going to have, oh, hopefully I'm going to have a little... Um, a little another little tuck spot under here so for this one what I'm going to do is run a bead of glue here and put that to the edge because I still want my flip to flip I still want that to flip up and now I'm going to think about how I want to sew this one okay so I'm going to do a line of stitching along here and along here and then I'm going to stitch around this triangle. I'm not going to sew this piece here. I'm going to rely on that being glued shut. OK, but before I glue those into place, I'm just going to do these little bits of stitching. Sewing is done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this shut along this edge to make that pocket. Now, I could trim these little bits if I want to, but like I said, I don't currently know what journal these are going to go into, so I'm going to leave it like that. And this here will form, I can find my little tags, this will make a little tuck spot. So something can be tucked in there and you've got your pocket here, but I want to decorate this a little bit. So I'm just going to have a little squidgy through my, squidgy through my, um, fussy cuts and see what I might like on there. Now you've got to remember not to cover that crease because it does need to, I think that one, and I think I'm going to put it in the middle. So I'm going to ink around the butterfly and then just glue that down over that little pocket flip thing. So we've got a little pocket there and if I want to, to hold that little flip down, but we have this little area here, just a little piece of scrap out of my scrap box, first piece I came to, turn that over, grab my scissors. I'm just going to glue that into place. So that's one done. So in 20 minutes, I've cut them all and we've finished one. So that's not bad. You, I mean, you can make quite a lot of these if you're using other mass makes that you've done as well. So let's do one without um, without any sewing. So I'm going to ink it. Right, so this one I'm not going to sew. Um, I think I'm going to keep this as a flip. So I'm going to grab one of my... Let's go for one that's not sewn of these as well, because this was, a, this was one that's not sewn. I think I'm going to add... Maybe you have that hanging down slightly. That might be quite cute. It was still flip. We cut that off. So I'm going to run a bead of glue along here. Add that. And then what I'm going to do is turn this this way. I'm going to cut that little 
piece off there and I'm going to cut that flush link this little piece I should have inked it before I put it into place let's see what we have those are quite cute and label can't go wrong with the label my little toadstools I mean once you start something like this that's repetitive you can make so much for your stash you really can lovely so this will still flip now that's quite plain so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a bit of an ink not too heavy just with what's already on there I have my little stamp that will flip up that way I think I'm going to use the same ink that's a bit pants I really didn't do a great job of that to correct my error <laughs> is I'm actually going to stick another piece over it so I'm going to ink this up nothing nothing's too hard to to solve and um, the only thing is this is now sewn which let me see if I can find another one here's another one that isn't sewn I'm going to use that and now we've actually got a little pocket there haven't we cut that at an angle and cut the bottom of that okay so we've got this little flip like that and now because of our error we've actually got another little tuck spot there so let's glue down our pocket side like that so we have a pocket and we have a little flip and we have a little tuck spot. So that's two done. Let's do one of our smaller ones now. And I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to do one of those little kind of belly band side style ones. Um, what you have to do is look at it and consider where you're going to sew, how you're going to sew. And if you're going to sew, you might not want to sew at all, um, like we just did on the previous one. So this one... We're going to make this into one of those little kind of belly band style pockets, which flips up. Um, but what I also want to do on this one, what did I do on the last one? We had a piece that flipped up. This time, I think I want to make the side, this piece as a pocket. To making sure I get this right and plan ahead, I'm going to stitch these two edges and then I'm going to sew around the triangle again, similar to last time. OK, so I'm going to do that first. I always seem to run out of bobbin thread at the most inconvenient time. <laughs> so um, I have my little flip. I could have glued that. I could have actually sewn that, couldn't I? OK, I'm going to glue here. but I'm just going to glue a kind of little bit at the top there. Hold that for a minute. Oh, Corby clip. Put my Corby clip on just to make that dry. And then as I did with the previous one, I just used one of my, my little kind of clusters to pop in there. And I'll also have a little pocket here. So we've got a belly band style and a little corner, a little pocket. So there we go. 
But let's decorate that a little bit more, actually. Let's decorate a little bit more. Since we've got bugs here, let's have a look. See if we can find a nice little bug on there. What do we want something? Oh, I think that one. I know these are a bit fiddly to ink, but Corey did show a fabulous idea in her little video. Do we need a label? Yes, I think we do. I think we need a label because why not? Let's put that underneath. So we've got a little pocket there. And our belly band style. Lovely. And what you could do is if you're putting something particular in here, you could just pop, because this is actually um, glued down to make this pocket, you could pop a little staple in there or a paper clip to make that a little bit tighter. Let's add a little clip here. I mean, obviously that would be removed once we glued that into our journal but that just gives us a little bit more security for whatever it is we put in that little pocket so should we do another small one ink again do one more after this this will be we'll do one more after this so this one is going to flip that way that's going to flip that way and do i want that to be a flip yes i think i do i think i'm going to do another version of this but this one is going to be a sideways one let's find something to decorate that with now I've got this piece here that I have been hoarding for a little while that would still work as a flip okay and then I'm going to glue that we glue that into place so that's in place. Now I've got two sta oh, I've got two staples in here. So I have to be careful if I'm sewing. Now what I'm going to do this time is I'm only going to sew along here. I'm going to sew along here and those corners. So we have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little stitch here. Okay, you could just glue, but I'm going to sew that. So I've just got a little, little tiny little row of stitching there. That's going to flap like so. And this time we're going to have a flip and our little tuck spot, but it's going to be sideways, sideways on, which is pretty cool. We're on a roll. Right now, this particular one, I'm just going to double check that. I actually really like this side, so I'm going to change my fold and I'm also going to fold this side on here like that. So we've got both sides folded and fold that down. Now this one is going to be one of those over the pages with two, two pockets. But what I'm going to do for this one, having a move around is brilliant. It's brilliant getting organised, but then you can't find anything, can you? There it is. I put it right at the top of my cart so I knew where it was. This one, I'm going to put in a couple of little... And just to make sure they're both in the same place, I'm going to fold that open and actually put that one in the same place. Okay. Right, let's give this an ink. This one's going to be a little bit more tricky to ink, or I have to do a bit of a better job on this one. Okay, so this time, to start with, what I'm going to do, just work this out, is because I want this I want this sewn all the way round but this I don't want to make the pocket too small just to show you I'm going to sew along this and around and down and up here but while it's open so I'm going to sew this piece while it's open and I'm going to do that on both sides okay I actually got into I actually got into a bit of a muddle um, and I've ended up sewing around the whole kind of piece there. So that's okay. All I need to do is, so that's going to be our pockets. I'm going to glue along here. I was going to sew that, but it's it's glued now. 
I'm going to hold that in place and I'm going to glue the same the other side. So let's just hold that for a moment. Right, so basically that will go over a pocket, over a page. And let's say we don't want to glue this in. So we could hold that in place like that. Or we could glue here and glue that into place. So we'll have an up tuck and we'll have a side pocket on each page. Now we haven't decorated this. I think I'm going to stick with the botanically butterfly kind of theme because it's kind of very generic. So I've got a couple of little tags. These are from my snip strips. But you can use any label or anything you like to decorate. You could leave all of the decorating till the end because you might want to pick your theme. If you're using a generic paper, and this Tim Holtz paper does work for so many things, or um, if I wanted them a bit thinner, I might use some of my compendium papers. All right, so I'm just going to decorate both sides, just gluing these down. That's our little over the top corner tucks. So I've still got several to make. Um, I really hope that you have got something out of this video. And I really do hope you will join in with the mass make um, challenge from Corey. But the challenge in the Facebook group this month is going to be Corey's challenge. So it's a it's a universal challenge. It's a challenge for everywhere. But I'm going to use this as the challenge for the Facebook group for March. Um, but um, please do come along and join the challenge wherever you are, whatever Facebook group you're in. Please do use Corey's hashtag, which is this. And everyone will be able to see what you've created. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.